Off the coast of Australia in 2001, there was the carcass of a dead whale floating. Now, this carcass stayed there for days to the point it became a tourist attraction, and people would take their boat out, climb on top of the whale, jumping up and down on the blubber, while sharks were swimming around eating at the whale. Now, obviously, this became somewhat of a uh, threat to life, so the uh, municipal uh, authorities they hired the bomb squad of the police department to come out and sink the carcass. They planted three bombs inside of the stomach of that whale, cleared everybody out, blew three holes in the side of the whale, hoping to sink it. Guess what? The whale just kept on floating. Now, the point is, when mammals die, they do not sink to the bottom of a lake or an ocean and start to turn into a fossil. They float and then they float, you know, as they fill with decomposing gases. And even when you blow holes in the side of them, they still don't sink. Yet the world is filled with fossils, millions if not trillions of dead animals, like this trilobite, and 95% of all fossils, are sea creatures, have been buried and every molecule of their body has changed from carbon and complex chemicals into solid rock. Now, did all these animals come to be as a result of dead, bloated, floating whale, tourist attraction type events? Were they slowly covered over time as they eventually sank? No, to make a fossil, you have to bury something really fast or it's just tore apart by scavengers. You have to bury it really deep. You have to have minerals percolating through the sediment that the animals are buried in, replacing their body with minerals, and you have to keep oxygen away. What event on earth buried things fast, deep, kept oxygen away, and filled water with sediment and minerals? The flood of Noah, creating fossils by the trillions. See, the things we see happening today don't make fossils. The things the Bible told us about, Noah's flood, is why fossils exist, not millions of years and slow processes. Yeah.